Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So I got a phone call from one of the people I do quite a bit of business with. He's from down Westchester way and he says, hey Harvey, I got this mini bike for you. It has a stage two kit in it. It's a nice little machine. I think it needs a clutch. Harvey likes mini bikes. So I give him a call right on back or, you know, we negotiate for a little while and end up, and I end up buying it. I'm not going to tell you guys what I paid for it, but probably more than I should have. Let's just stop there. So first of all, let's define what a mini bike with a stage one kit in it means. Stage one kit, depending on who you get it for and so forth, it kind of depends on that point of view. But generally speaking, a stage one kit means you have a machine that breathes better. So you guys could see this thing has the bigger horn on the air cleaner. But it does not have the exhaust upgrade. So if you start doing some research and you research this Go Power Sports, if you research those folks, you'll figure out pretty quickly that they put this $30 um, air intake kit on it. So that's a little bit of an improvement. If you do some careful looking at the engine, you realize that it's actually a Honda engine, which is a plus, but it's only 120 cc's. See, <laughs> I spent too much money on it. Um, so, though it's a, it's it's really a Honda motor, which is good. It really, even at its best, it's not going to produce that much power. Let's continue to talk about the Stage One kit. So, normally with the Stage One kit, you end up with the bigger air cleaner out here. You reject the carburetor. Right, you put a bigger jet in it. And you have an exhaust system, a bigger exhaust system. And depending on who you get the kit from for stage one, you also put bigger springs on the valves, right? That close, closes the valves a little better. And what it succeeds on you doing is you're able to take in more air, burn it better, expel it better and hopefully get more power out of it. They also have you tweak on the governor a little bit. It's still in there for the stage one, or at least how I'm gonna look at the stage one. So you get an extra few RPM on it. The bike's a little faster, and once again, depending on who you buy the kit from, on a six and a half, seven horsepower engine, you can find yourself an extra couple of horsepower and an extra couple of hundred RPMs of uh, speed. So you put those numbers together and a stage one kit could do quite a lot for you. Once again, I didn't get the stage one kit with this machine. As you break into stage two, you're actually you into the engine and we could debate whether this is a stage two or a stage three. But let's talk getting some real power out of this, moving it toward a ghost engine. At that point, you got to break into the engine. You replaced the, um, the connecting rod, possibly the piston, depending on who you're getting the kit from. Typically, once again, um, bigger springs on the valves, depending on who you get a kit, the kit from. You could put a hotter cam in there. And sometimes they even uh, put a little offset on the keyway to advance your timing. And your governor gets completely deleted. And even go a step further, a lot of times they put an extension block on here with a little bit of a turn and you upgrade the carburetor to a, a Makuni. At that point, with all those things, 
the unlimited RPM, the much bigger carburetor, the bigger springs, the hotter cam, the slightly, you know, a little more advanced on the timing and all those other things. You've probably more or less doubled the horsepower of the engine. You've picked up the, uh, the top RPMs. You're probably up over 5,000, right? You've, you've completely changed the personality of, of the machine. When I bought this, I had kind of, you know, with the price I paid, I was thinking I was getting a real stage one kit. And by real stage one, once again, the bigger horn on the carburetor and the upgraded exhaust. I kind of wanted to use the upgraded exhaust elsewhere. And as you price those parts out, it's $100. And then if you figure any mini bike that you can hop on, pull the string and get a ride out of is worth 100, 150, 175. If you put those numbers together, you can more or less see what I was thinking of when I paid what I paid for on this machine. So looking at this thing with a critical eye, what am I going to do with it? Probably what I'm going to do is move this thing back to bone stock. That's kind of where it has more of its value. It'd be more valuable as a bone stock machine than kind of pretending it's something it's not. Seems to have a, um, a new clutch on it which is interesting. Um, I'm probably going to go back to your standard OEM carburetor with the uh, big air box on top. Looks like the brakes are good. The frame is good, right? I got no crack, cracks or any of that kind of stuff. Cosmetics actually look, look nice. It has a real Honda motor on it. The real Honda motor makes it a little, a little more valuable than uh, if it had a Predator on it. Uh, this thing is big enough where um, a full-size person could ride it. It's also short enough where um, a young person could, could ride it, right? They can hit the ground. But there's enough space where you could kind of fold your legs and... Put your butt right there and uh and it could take it it's built solid enough right this um this gussing here makes it so that um the frame could handle the weight of an adult you know the way they have it gusseted and um put together it's it's actually kind of a nice little little machine Definitely would be great for just just kind of a uh, riding it around on the lawn machine. Um, but I'm probably going to move it back towards stock and and use it that way. Just just have it as a as a simple yard runner. Um, for my lawn, like getting up that hill over here. That Honda motor, probably for somebody two, two and a quarter like I am, I'm probably a little heavy for getting up that hill unless I take a running start at it, you know, charge the hill, so to speak. Um, that motor's probably a little small. It is a little, nice little motor, the, uh, the little Honda. It's beautifully balanced. It just... It's a sweet motor from that point of view. Has gas in it and all. I could probably pull the string and hop on it and take a ride, but I got a million other things I'm supposed to be doing at the moment, so yeah, I can't quite be that frivolous. Yeah, everything's there. The brake's there, the seat's there. I mean, it really looks to be a pretty nice machine. I think it's, uh, it's better off going back to stock. I don't know what you guys think. I mean, obviously, I could smash uh, the Predator 7 horsepower. There's a few of those floating around on here. I can even go crazy, uh, crack the Predator open, get the governor out of there. 
do one of my Harvey Spooner hacks, get a, you know, heavier carburetor onto it, um, hack up an exhaust system, you know, get that extra couple of horsepower out of the Predator, and then, uh, and then turn it into a bit of a mini Mad Max. Um, I mean, that would be cool. Normally, if I'm going to do that kind of effort, it's better to put that into one of the Baja Warriors or something. Something with a bigger frame that's a little more enjoyable to ride. A little less jolting on the spine. I don't know. What do you guys, what do you mini bike enthusiasts think? Um, when it comes to value, Motovox, it's a, it's a current machine. I think I saw... 2012 somewhere as I was looking at stickers so it's probably somewhere around 10 years old maybe slightly newer um, it's the old mini bikes that are worth money the old um, Argos or uh, Sears or Rupps right that's where the money is there's really no coin in this anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope the discussion on what's a stage one, two, and three makes sense. Think stage one is breathing. Think stage two and up as you're actually beginning to modify the engine somewhat. Whether you're putting in the um, different flywheel, the flywheel that doesn't fly apart because it's not just plastic pop riveted to aluminum. Um, the advance, right, they tweak the keyway a little bit to give you a little, just a little bit of advance. The upgraded piston, getting the governor out of there so that whole thing doesn't fly apart and let the strap metal destroy the inside of your motor. Y you know, stage two, three, you're getting serious. Stage one, you're just breathing a little better. Anyway, once again, I hope this... Uh, video helped you guys know this stuff I learned a little bit myself and sometimes you got to pay for an education so in the meantime I need you all to keep your feet down your heads up and I want you to get out there and enjoy each and every day don't forget to get out there and have some fun take care now bye